Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect Legendary Edition where as you could probably tell in the last episode, I think I mentioned it, but I am currently staying in my sister and brother-in-law's apartment and taking up their entire living room to play this video game. So naturally they live in this house and are moving around in it and so you'll hear stuff in the background that's from them. <laughs> um, so just be aware of that. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. The crew could use some good news after what happened to Jane. <laughs> I just, I always thought this was funny where she's like, I get she's being sympathetic, right? But she's always like, oh man, we'll miss Jenkins. And it's like, you didn't even know him. <laughs> Jenkins was a valuable part yeah, of this Yeah, he totally crew. was. Part of me feels guilty over what happened. If Jenkins was still alive, I might not be here. Like, be here on the ship? Because you'd probably be alive. But I don't know. If you, you'd probably still be in the ship. You're a good soldier, Williams. You belong on the Normandy. Thanks, Commander. That means a lot for me. I've never met anyone who was awarded the Star of Tara. I am very famous. Things were pretty rough down there. Are you okay? I've seen friends die before. It comes with being a Marine. But to see my whole unit wiped out. And you never get used to seeing dead civilians. But things would have been a lot worse if you hadn't shown up. We couldn't have done it without you, Williams. Thanks, Commander. I have to admit, I was a little worried about being assigned to the Normandy. It's nice when someone makes you feel welcome. I've, I've renegated this before, and she's just like, well, dang, I expect, this is what I thought. You'd be like a total witch about me being here, and I'm just like, what? what? <laughs> I think you're going to fit in here just fine, Williams. Thanks, Commander. Oh, yeah, baby. Okay, maybe I mess with photo mode for a second. Nope, I was trying to get a nice screenshot of my character, and I don't think it's gonna happen. <laughs> she looks better in cutscenes than she does just in the normal game. That's Anderson's room right now. Can I go in there? I think I can. Oh, and I need to talk to Chocolates too. You can just walk right up to him. Go speak to Joker when you're ready. Tell him to bring the Normandy. You can't lie to me, it's a blank screen. He's just spacing out. <sighs> Okay, Chuck was. We're gonna talk about Caden, even though he's right behind us. Come on. Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? How did you end up serving on an Alliance ship? I enlisted right out of med school. Earth always seemed boring to me. Too safe, too secure. I figured the colonies were teeming with exotic adventure. <laughs> I wanted to travel the stars, tending the wounds of tough soldiers with piercing eyes and sensitive souls. <laughs> Turns out military life isn't quite as romantic as I'd imagined. But humanity needs the Alliance if we want to keep expanding through the Traverse. And the Alliance always needs good doctors. So I stayed on to do my part. I like that, right? Like, she came on, like, that's, I, I have experienced that sort of with my own career, where it's like you kind of get into it for, like, the romance of it. Like, the Indiana Jones archaeology, and then you start doing it, and you're like, that is not what real archaeology is, right? But, like, at the end of the day, you look at what you've done, and, like, what you're doing, and you're like, I like this. Like, I'm I'm happy with this. Like, not just content, but, like, I'm happy doing what I'm doing, even if it's kind of different than I expected, <laughs> you know? Ever think you made the wrong choice? Sometimes I think about opening a private practice back on Earth, or maybe taking a position at one of the new med centers out in the colonies. But there's something special about working on soldiers. If I left the Alliance now, I'd feel like I was abandoning them. I think... I don't know, she's made it in her family, right? What do you know about Captain Anderson? I've served with him for a few tours now. He knows when to let things slide and when to crack the whip. The crew knows he's seen pretty much anything they'll ever run into. And he cares about the people. I do wonder what... She technically has to have a rank, right? If she's in the Alliance? I've never thought about that before. If she has, like, a rank. You know? Or just doctor or medic. I think, I think they still get ranks. Maybe they don't. How well do you know the lieutenant? I'd never worked with him before this mission. But he has an impressive service record. Over a dozen special commendations. Tends to keep to himself, though. Maybe because of the headaches. It's not easy being an L2. What does that have to do with it? Well, most biotics now use the L3 implants. 
Lieutenant Alenka was wired with the old L2 configuration. Sometimes there are complications. Technically, I'm a biotic. I did always think it was weird in this game. Like, I don't think they could bring up very often, like, if, if you're a biotic, like an adept or a, a vanguard. Um, that, like, I don't know, like, Caden had such a different experience growing up than you. And I guess being an earthborn orphan, I just, like, ran around on the streets. And then I'm like, hey, I'm enlisting. And they're like, whoa, okay, you're a biotic. Oh, wow, okay. You know, but... That like I don't know did I I think there's I think Shepard can say something about the L two or L three configurations that she might might or might not have, but it's it's one of those things where it's like it doesn't quite mesh with like the in game lore and like story that you hear from others. You're it's like it's almost like you're not biotic except you are, <laughs> you know. What kind of complications? Severe mental disabilities, insanity, crippling physical pain. There's a long list of horrific side effects. Hayden's lucky. He just gets migraines. I should go. Goodbye. Gunner. I should go. I should go. I should go. It's so funny. I think I saw Jennifer Hale talk about that. Can I go down? Oh, I can go down. About listening to it for like the first time or something and realizing that like it, you do say it a lot? I don't know. I'm really mad. I missed out on release day when, like, Jennifer Hale and other people were, like, popping in and out of, like, Mass Effect streams, and I was like, mm. <laughs> I would have loved to have been streaming that day. Oh, there she is. There's the baby. There's my child. Oh, my gosh. The Mako is my second favorite true love. The Normandy is number one. <sighs> hey, Commander. Looking for some extra supplies before you head up? What have you got? Whatever you want. Armor, weapons, mods. It's not standard Alliance issue, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Well, as long as you don't mind paying for it. Why should I pay you for my weapons and armor? My stuff doesn't come from the Alliance. I have to purchase it myself, and it's not cheap. Hell, the licenses alone have set me back more than I'd like. But no licenses, no goods. Without the goods, I'm out of a job. I mean, if you're an Alliance requisition officer, you'll get goods. You know what I mean? <laughs> mm. What are licenses? What are licenses? Why do you need them? This full grown Manufacturers asks. sell licenses. Each license allows me to buy and sell a certain brand of product. I already have several basic ones, but you'll need to buy more if you want me to get the Spectre license. Many of the best licenses are hard to get, but they're well worth the cost if you can find them. Alright, let's see what you got. Let's see what you got. Oh. You bet, Commander. Uh, grenade upgrade. Yes. Metagel upgrade. Yes. Everything else, I don't, I'm not gonna worry about it. Just doing a brief tour of the ship. Oh, did they change it a little bit? I swear they curved, I swear these things curved a bit more before popping into here. Oh my gosh. Look at her. The heart of my ship. It's so cool. They did such a good job designing this dang nab game. Shame about Jenkins. You know, I don't know if I've ever come down here post Jenkins, post Eden Prime, but before anything at the Citadel. I'm trying to play this like I played it my first time, where like, my first time I played I would always like, after like every mission I'd go back and chat with Anderson, because like, I don't know, I really like, I felt like, you know, they seem to indicate that my Shepard and, you know, Anderson have a really good relationship. And, like, I bonded to him almost instantly. I was like, Shepard, Dad! <laughs> it's my dad! <laughs> and so, yeah, I paid a lot of attention to him. I would go back and visit regularly. I was like, well, and also, I was like, okay, I'm an Alliance soldier, you know, I maybe do Inspector things, spoiler, but, like, you know, I feel like it's still my duty in a lot of ways to go back and report to him. Especially since he personally gives me the mission sort of to take down Saren. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. Losing Jenkins was hard enough. For him. The manual. Oh boy. This ship. K 
god dang. This is truly though, there's probably, like, this is probably not an excellent design ship. There's probably a lot of wasted space here. And for spaceships, I assume you'd want, you know, very, you know, ergonomic, economical space, you know? Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring oh, us into the Citadel. Oh, yes. Taxpayer money to work. Yes, I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. Oh my ship. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. sizes and everything. Why so touchy, Joker? I'm just saying you need firepower, too. Look at that monster. Its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing it's on our side, then. Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy, requesting permission to land. Stand by for clearance, Normandy. Clearance granted. You may begin your approach. Transferring you to an Alliance operator. Roger, Alliance Tower. Normandy out. Normandy, this is Alliance Tower. Please proceed to dock 422. This is so stupidly gorgeous. Oh my. This is right here. This is where I fell in love with the Normandy. I had never understood people falling in love with, like, cars or trains or boats or whatever. That was weird. Uh, I didn't appreciate that. Holy cow. This is an outrage! The Council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian oh colony. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. It looks like the art book. The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Oh my gosh. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Saren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action. You don't get to make demands of the Council, Ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Saren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing. Not it's before. hilarious that they have CSEC investigating a Spectre. Captain Anderson, I see you brought half your crew. Oh my gosh. Just the ground team from Eden Prime. In case you had any questions. They're both I like, I have mm. the mission reports. I assume they're accurate. I'm gonna kick you in the teeth. They are. Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. He looks like his forehead, like he's had, like he wears a hat all the time and goes out into the sun a lot, which is totally not what Adina does. But like his forehead seems a lot brighter than the rest of his, like a lot lighter than the rest of his skin. It's in, like, it looks like a, like a hat tan line. Uh, anyway, I am just, the Citadel is just, it man, it looks like the stuff in the art books. Like I have the art books and they're beautiful and this actually look like, it looks like it's translated like, directly from the page. It's gorgeous. Saren's a threat to every human colony out there. He needs to be stopped. The Council has to listen to us. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. That's not my fault. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. That's Saren's fault, not hers. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the spectres. I mean, they weren't really wanting Come me in Come with me, there. Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. And that's why I hate politicians. Uh, yep. <laughs> I can't See, tell the aliens from the animals. that line right there is why I actually really did kind of despise Ashley. And I, my friend asked the other day, he's like, wow, I didn't remember. It's like, I knew Ashley was racist, but I didn't realize she was that racist. And I was like, and I quoted that line word for word. I'm like, I will never forget this line. And this is why I will never like Ashley. I just won't. Like, I mean, I don't know, like, she changes if you let her. Particular concerns, K. 
Okay. If you, you know, sort of spoilers. Oh my gosh. Oh my, hang on. I gotta, I gotta play in photo mode, maybe. Wow. Look at her. Whoa. Oh, and it's stupid. Why is that showing up all the time? Oh my goodness. <laughs> I know, it's so basic. I'm taking such basic photos. Um, let's turn that off, actually. And we'll try this one. But look at that, like, I mean, really, like, this looks like it's straight out of the art book. Like, truly, <laughs> I'm just stunned and amazed. Let's see if we can get higher. Oh my gosh. Okay, I don't know how far away we can go. This is, this is just stunning. Like, I could just spend all day here. In the Citadel, running around. I don't know, it says, I think it says to press another button to exit photo mode, but it hasn't been working for me thus far. Also, oh yeah, let's go. Let's go have a chat. <gasps> oh, I can't forget that little fella, little friend. This is serious. My reputation is at Look how beefy they are. Always good to see your kind. I am Ambassador Kaylin. Genuine query. Is there something I can do for you? This they day? look amazing. Why do you explain what you're about to say? Our people communicate less through words and more through scent and slight movements. Plainly, we discovered our vocal expression was not enough to convey the I feelings of our conversations to others. This is how they adapted. Why do you bother, Kaelin? These Earth Clan don't really care about our Why ways. Why would I ask? Remorseful response, Din. You don't truly believe that. And if you do, I am very sorry for you. <laughs> He's like, whatever. Tell me more about your species. Tell me more. Genuine enthusiasm. I delight in telling the history of my people. It is agreeable to share our culture with others. Oh, yeah. No, I'm ready. I'm ready for this. It's been like a year and a half since I played, and I always go through all the... Like, what's the point of going through the game if you don't do at least half the dialogue options, you know? Tell me about the history and origins of the Elcor. Oh, boy. The Elcor were just beginning to explore Council space when the Asari first made contact with us. With their help, we discovered the relay closest to our system, and from there, the Citadel. Proudly, within one lifetime, we established a regular route to the Citadel and quickly became one of the more active species living on this great station. I wonder, what was I thinking? Um, if we get to see the Elcor walking much, and there's like one Elcor animation that you see walking in Mass Effect 1. Did I already ask? Tell me about the history and origins of the Elcor. Yeah. With their help, okay. proudly. Culture. Within one lifetime. I'd like to know more about the culture of the Elcor. Frankly, we Elcor prefer the safety and familiarity of our own colonies to the confines of space travel. Our society is built on small, tight knit groups. Though we are always welcoming to outsiders, our government tends to be very stable. 
Our people are not very comfortable with sudden changes. <laughs> very much unlike humans who like to frantically change things at any given point in time. What do you do here? Modestly. I work to bring the problems and the requests of the Elcor groups to the attention of the Council. Ha! They only give us these positions to keep us quiet. The Council doesn't care about our races. Chastising rebuke. Your tone is inappropriate, Dan. This human is not to blame for your malcontent or your misconceived suspicions. <laughs> your conspiracy theories, buddy. Goodbye, Ambassador. Sincere farewell. Good day to you. They human. do look so Enjoy good. Your time on the the one thing about Mass Effect One, well, the one of the many things about Mass Effect One is that the clothing, especially on like the humans and the Asari and like the bipeds and stuff, has always been very bright, and they just got progressively more like drab as the games went on. So I don't know. Hopefully they change that a little bit because I do enjoy how bright the clo the clothing is for like civilians. Earth Clan, you are in the wrong place. I think. Your ambassador is next door in the large office. Chastising remark. Don't be so rude, Dan. At least introduce yourself. <sighs> I am Din Korlak, Volus ambassador. Is there something I can do for you, Earth Clan? I do think that Volus got shafted. They're the ones running like the the entire like economy, so they should get at least their own office. You seem to have a bit of a chip on your shoulder, Din. You humans are new to the Citadel, and yet the Council has granted you great favor. <gasps> Just as <laughs> you oh. Your species has always been granted many concessions. Golas territory has expanded tenfold since coming to the Citadel. <clears throat> Details. Details. <laughs> We still have no real say in the decisions that affect Citadel space. What is this place? You are in the embassy for the Volus and the Elcor. Your ambassador is next door, in his own office. In this shared space, I aid my fellow Volus when I'm not being interrupted. I, I, you just, I'm so, you're a bad, I'm not a very good ambassador. I'd like to know more about the Volus. I'm sure our history and culture would bore you, Earth Clan. Tell me anyway. Actually, I would like to know more about your history. My people came to the Citadel shortly after the Asari and Salarians had discovered it. We were instrumental in establishing a standardized galactic economy. However, Despite our long association with the Citadel, and our many contributions to galactic society, we still do not hold a seat on the Council. I was going to say, the Council races are composed of those that you can, uh, that, you know, that they want, that, that a human would think is attractive, so obviously, I mean, like, if you look at it in a very jaded, cynical way, right? Um, but we still, to this day, don't have a Salarian lover, even in Andromeda, which is where I was truly hoping we could have, I really wanted a Salarian, uh, lover, and we didn't get that, and I'm sad. Krogan is a pipe dream, but that would also have been good, <laughs> but I was really hoping for a Salarian, but alas, it would have been interesting. Tell me about Volus culture. We are tribal by nature, but our ways are not violent. We barter and trade our lands and tribe members in order to increase status. Larger tribes often engulf smaller ones and eventually split again. Our society is very malleable, and our government is always shifting and changing. Since we're not physically adept, we trade our services for protection. Yeah, they're like, uh, beholden to the Turians. What is it you do here? I look out for the best interests of the Volus people. No easy task, considering how often we are overlooked by the Council. Chastising <laughs> rebuke, It's the Dan. third time. The Council favors your species greatly. You are naive. 
The Earth Clan will be invited to the council long before our species will. I just feel like everybody should have a seat on the council, honestly. This weird system where, like, they have, like, ambassadors but aren't actual, like, counselors. Like, I'm like, I don't know. If you've got a species, like, I know that they have, like, they have the rules, which they're about to say, but, like, I don't know. If you've got a species in the galaxy, they should have this equal say in, like, at the very least what goes on in their own space, you know, um, as everybody else. And, like, I don't know. Everybody's one part of, part of one big galaxy. We should all have this have a say in it, you know. Why aren't the Elcor or Volus part of the council? All species must prove themselves before they join the council. All but the Earth clans. We're not on the council. Dismissive. Ignore the Volus ambassador, human. He is incorrect in his assessment. Really. How long have we been waiting? How long do you think we'll continue to wait? Bah, this talk is wasted on the humans. Listen, buddy. We don't even have a seat yet. It's funny because you hear from the other aliens, right? They're like, oh, humans are getting all these concessions, and they're getting like all these like you know perks and bonuses, and they're getting all these things that we had to wait like hundreds of years for. And humans and like human politicians are like, it's not fast enough. Oh my gosh, why aren't they giving us the same thing as the others had? Like, very kind of entitled, but also like, it kind of follows, right? That all like the like independent spirit of like humanity that's like hey like if there's like a galaxy that we're gonna be a part of like we deserve equal say as everybody else you know <laughs> why are you making this hard why are you making why are you gatekeeping this <laughs> you know goodbye ambassador yes yes good day Earth oh should i talk to you really quick hello there human sincere apology but i am here on business and cannot be distracted right now you seem distressed is there something i can do to help Alarm I'm so response. nosy. You overheard that, did you? This is all going so wrong. And it is the Asari consort's fault. She's the one who started all this. Who's this Asari consort? Curious. You have not heard. You must be new to the city. I brand spanking new. Everyone knows Shatira, the consort. I cannot speak more about this problem. It is too sensitive. Suffice it to say, she has compromised my authority as a diplomat. Where can I find the Sasari consort? She is across the bridge from here. Her offices are easy enough to spot. Good day. I miss some of it, but I wonder if they've given them new animations. That would be pretty dope. Um, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and call this one here. Again, they can't get too long, but I'm trying to make sure stuff happens in all of them. So I hope you guys are enjoying, and I hope to see you in the next one.